an amazing story? Choose a book from one of these real-life writing heroes to make a new story just like theirs. Try it in the Bronte Sisters. The Bronte Sisters were creative people who loved to pretend. Charlotte, Emily, and Anne wrote lots of great stories. Hey, let's create a story about us pretending. Rainy day, Yadina pretended to be a, a ringmaster, a bug, a diver, an astronaut. A ra One rainy day, Yadina pretended to be a ringmaster. And Xavier pretended to be a pirate, a clown. And Xavier pretended to be a clown. Yadina and Xavier pretended they were inside. A, a cat. Yadina and Xavier pretended they were inside a castle. When suddenly, they pretended the floor turned into... When suddenly, they pretended the floor turned into... Lava! I'll save them! So then, Brad pretended to rescue his friends as... dun da 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 Brad! So then, Brad pretended to rescue his friends as... dun da 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 Brad man! Yay, Brad! Our brave hero! Xavier and Yadina were proud to have such a brave friend as they climbed aboard Brad's rescue. Balloon. Xavier and Yadina were proud to have such a brave friend as they climbed aboard Brad's rescue. Balloon. That was amazing. The end. Thanks for telling such a surprising story about us. And pretending some amazing things. Just like the Bronte sisters. Char Charles Dickens used his imagination to write great stories. Stories that lots of people still love today. Ooh, let's create a story about Brad's imagination. One day, Brad was laying down on his... Bean pouch. Blanket. Bed. One day... Brad was laying down on his bed. When suddenly, Brad imagined it was a, an airplane. When suddenly, Brad imagined it was an airplane. And Brad imagined he was in the and Brad imagined he was in the clouds. Then Brad imagined he saw pop Then Brad imagined he saw popcorn. Whoa! Now that's using your imagination. And Brad imagined he was holding a banana. And Brad imagined he was holding a banana. Woo! My imagination is exhausting. So Brad imagined he was relaxing in the. So Brad imagined he was relaxing in the butterfly conservatory. Ooh! Now there's a story I loved. The end. Thanks for telling such a silly story about my imagination. Using your imagination makes everything more fun. Just like Charles Dickens. Char Zor Zora Neale Hurston wrote all kinds of stories. And she shared them with people all around the world. Hey, let's create a sharing story about Brad. Brad was writing his new comic book alone in... The, the class, the art. Brad was writing his new comic book alone in the art room. When suddenly Brad saw a lonely. When suddenly Brad saw a lonely mummy. Aw, poor lonely guy. So, Brad decided to share his comic book about. Baby. So, Brad decided to share his comic book about. Baby Brad. Reading Brad's comic book together made it so silly. Reading Brad's comic book together made it so silly. Sharing makes everything better. So then they decided to. <laughs> so then they decided to eat ice cream. That story was awesome. The end. Thanks for telling an awesome sharing story about me. Stories are best when you share them with others. <gasps> Just like Zora Neale Hurston. My Mary Shelley used her imagination to write stories that were totally different from everybody else's. Some of her stories were oh, spooky. Ooh, let's create a story about Xavier your way. 
Xavier was walking in the woods when suddenly something happened that was very Xavier was walking in the woods when suddenly something happened that was very surprising. He came face to face with a ghost. He came face to face with a ghost. At first, Xavier tried to run. At first, Xavier tried to run away. But then Xavier decided to be. But then Xavier decided to be brave. Go, Xavier! Xavier stood bravely, holding. Oh, Xavier stood bravely, holding a wand. To Xavier's surprise, the ghost said. Let to Xavier's surprise, the ghost said, "Let's be friends." Wow! Didn't see that coming. The end. Thanks for making an amazing story about me. Your own way, just like Mary Shelley. Try. Maya Angelou was a writer and poet who used her words for good. A poet is someone who puts words together in a super special way called a poem. Some poems rhyme, which means they have words that end in the same sound, like moon and balloon. Ooh, let's create a poem that rhymes, all about <laughs> Doctor Zoom. A rhyming poem about Doctor Zoom. How should we start? Doctor Zoom is a rhyming poem about Doctor Zoom. How should we start? Doctor Zoom is amazing at art. What's that, Doctor Zoom? These words make you feel good, and you want more? Okay. Also, Doctor Zoom loves tea. Um. Also, Doctor Zoom loves tea. Almost as much as having a turtle party. Wow! Didn't see that coming. Doctor Zoom's brave and tries new things, like flying. Doctor Zoom's brave and tries new things, like flying with wings. So super brave. Doctor Zoom can spend all afternoon dancing. With Doctor Zoom can spend all afternoon dancing with a raccoon. Doctor Zoom's got the moves. Did you know Doctor Zoom's favorite power is climbing? Did you know Doctor Zoom's favorite power is climbing up a pizza tower? <sighs> What a talented super turtle! And when it's time for bed, Doctor Zoom likes to cuddle on. <laughs> And when it's time for bed, Doctor Zoom likes to cuddle on a pillow named Fred. Those two go way back. Oh, Doctor Zoom! And even though our poem is just about done, Doctor Zoom, your. And even though our poem is just about done, Doctor Zoom, your number one. Group hug. The end. Wow, that was a great poem. Doctor Zoom just loves how we use our words for good, just like Maya Angelou. Nellie Bly wrote about some big and sometimes scary adventures she went on. Nellie was bold. That means she was brave and willing to try new things. Hey, let's create a story about Yadina being bold. At the playground, Yadina was too scared to try the monkey bars. So she went on. This at the playground, Yadina was too scared to try the monkey bars. So she went on the seesaw. When suddenly, Doctor Zoom was carried away by a. When suddenly, Doctor Zoom was carried away by a bird. Hang on, Doctor Zoom. Yadina had to be bold and chase after Doctor Zoom using her. Yadina had to be bold and chase after Doctor Zoom using her bicycle. Then Doctor Zoom landed on top of the. Then Doctor Zoom landed on top of a tower. To save Doctor Zoom, Yadina had to be bold and climb up. To save Doctor Zoom, Yadina had to be bold and climb up the monkey bars. Yadina, I knew you could do it. To celebrate rescuing Doctor Zoom, she gave her best turtle. To celebrate rescuing Doctor Zoom, she gave her best turtle friend a big hug. What a turtle tastic story! The end. Thanks for telling such a cool story about me being bold. When you really want to do something, 
be bold, just like Nellie Bly.